Now let's look at what happens if we start using different speeds uh, with this stop action type of a stroke that we used in conjunction with the tangent line. If I said before in the last segment that if we get the cue ball to slide into the object ball, it will go straight towards the tangent line. Well, that might not be necessarily true if we start changing the speed. For instance, let's say it should come directly towards that, that uh, oh, let's see, this target over here, this piece of chalk, that was set there before, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's going to give us the exact tangent line for this setup. So what we'd be looking at is pretty close to the same spot. So if we do that over there, let's see what happens if we now slide it into there at a different speed. Came in the correct direction, all right, but it only came this far, which is important for telling us what do we do for cue ball control once again. If we wanted the cue ball to come down here, say to set us up for another shot for a ball that's over here, for instance, well, we want to use that sliding action, of course, but we want to hit the ball at a much higher rate of speed so we get it all the way down there. If we use a slower speed, yeah, it comes off in that same di uh, general direction, but it stops over here, which might not help us. So speed control is very important in use with the tangent line.